brothers and sisters of a sim racing community. Welcome to Sim Racing Life. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to transmit the telemetry data from Euro Truck Simulator 2 and American Truck Simulator to either a tablet, a phone, or even another monitor, or even all three if you so wished. Now you're probably wondering why I need to do this. Well, this can be quite advantageous, say, if you're running triple screens and you're unable to see your dash fully because it allows you to display your dash on another screen or even job information and fully working maps. And what's more, this is entirely free. So without further ado, let's take a look at what we need to do. Firstly, let's navigate to this website. Don't worry, I'll put all the links in the video description below. So what we're looking at here is actually a skin for Funbits Euro Truck Simulator 2 telemetry server that allows us to see the GPS along with cargo and truck information. So, starting at the top, let's first download this skin, which at the time of the video is version 3.6.0. To do this, just left click and choose save. Next, scroll down a bit and click the blue text for the telemetry server. This will open up another page. Once here, it's quite simple. Just click your mouse on this green box and select download zip. You can also scroll down on this page and you'll also see a wealth of information and instructions on how to install the server app and even a guide to making your own skins to use. Right, close our browser. Once our two files have downloaded, we'll need to extract them as they're both compressed. Now, I use WinRAR, but if you use a different one such as WinZip, then the process is pretty much the same. So, just right click on our telemetry server file and select extract here. This will extract our files, putting them in a pre-configured folder ready to use. Now, I'm using triple screen, so mine appear off screen but as you can see, I can just drag them into view. And if we open our folder, you'll see all our files are here. Follow the same process for our downloaded skin. Please note, I've sped up the footage, so this may take a little longer. Okay, when that's done, you'll have these two folders. We don't need the original files anymore that we downloaded, so let's just delete them. Moving on, right click on our extracted skin folder and left click on cut. Next, navigate to our telemetry folder and open it. Next, go to the server folder and open that. You'll then see another folder called HTML, which we need to open. And finally, open the folder called Skins. Once here, move the mouse to a clear space, right click and select Paste. This will move our skin folder to this location, as you can see. Also, closing this window, we can now see that we just have one folder on our desktop. So, it's time to install the server app. Open up our folder and then inside you'll see another folder called server. Open this. Next, double click the ETS2 telemetry application and you'll be presented with this showing us what's going to be installed on our system. So moving on, click the install button. You'll be asked to locate your ETS2 root directory. If you don't have this though, don't worry, you can select cancel and move to the next step. Lucky for me, I own both, so I'll just point 
to my Euro Truck Simulator 2 root folder. Don't select any other folder though, just the root and press OK. Next, follow the same steps for American Truck Simulator. Again, making sure you select the root folder. Press OK and hey presto it's done. Click OK and the server will start straight away. So, as you can see, it's reporting that the simulator is not running. This is because we've not started the game yet. Moving down to the HTML5 app URL, this is our holy grail. It's this address that we have to use on another browser to show us our telemetry. Again, this will only work if each device is connected to the same network, which for the most part, I would imagine is around 99.9% .9 of you. To quickly show you, I'll move the server window and left click the HTML5 app URL. And as you can see, it opens a browser window for our mobile dashboard. Scrolling down, you'll see a host of skins that are available to use, including this one that we've just downloaded, and also variants like these two, one for kilometers per hour and the other for miles per hour. So let's go ahead and left click on the miles per hour. You'll be greeted with this. And as you can see, it's connected, but waiting for a drive. Again, this is just because we've not started the game yet. While that's open, let's turn to a pad. And as you can see, I've got the same mobile dash that we had on the PC open on here. To get this, I just copied the HTML5 app URL to the pad's browser address bar, as you can see here. We'll choose the new skin that we downloaded and as you can see, it's waiting for the game to start. So let's do it, let's start the game. And as you can see, as soon as the game starts, it just works, just like that. We can now use our pad or a phone or even a spare monitor as our game GPS with working maps, and job information, truck condition and damage and it will even allow you to call for help if you break down. Now, I realize that that top bar can be annoying to some, so if you do have an iPad, I'll show you how to get it full screen. First, click the box with the up arrow at the top right of your browser. Then scroll along until you see the add to home screen button and press it. I don't need to do this as I already did this earlier. You can now close your browser. Scrolling across, you can now see an icon on my home screen that we just created. Open this and hey presto, our telemetry info is now full screen. As I said earlier, it's possible to have multiple screens displaying your telemetry, as I have in this picture. Now I normally use a pad and a phone I can't take a photo of that due to my camera being on my phone. Well, that about wraps things up. So all that's left is for you to go and make use of those extra screens you've got for your favorite trucking sim. So that just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful in some way. And if you did, why not consider subscribing to the channel and giving us a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, then don't hesitate. Put them in the box below and I'll do my best to answer them. Until the next one. Bye bye.